With the iOS 16.2 update, which was released in December of 2022, we now have the ability to use Stage Manager on an external display that's plugged into an iPad. This will only work with iPads that are equipped with an M1 or M2 chip as of late 2022. But we can use pretty much any display as long as you have the right adapter. I'm going to be using two different external displays in this lesson. A 27-inch 5K LG monitor and a smaller 16-inch portable display. Both of these will plug in directly to the USB-C port on the iPad. This will allow for the iPad to be used much like the Mac setup that I usually have on this desk. Here we have my MacBook Pro set beneath the 27-inch LG display. I'm able to move the cursor and windows vertically between the MacBook's monitor and the external display. Now let's plug in my 11-inch M1 iPad Pro to this external display. For this to work, the iPad has to be connected to a keyboard and trackpad or mouse. In this case, I'm using a keyboard case with trackpad from ESR. Doing that gives me a very Mac desktop looking area on the external display, including a dock. In Display and Brightness settings, we can see the LG Ultrafine is now listed as a second display. Go into Arrangement and we can see the external display is stacked on top of the iPad display, just like we had with the Mac. We can move the iPad display to any side of the external display. With it stacked, I can move the cursor between the two displays from the top edge of the iPad and the bottom edge of the external display. The cursor on an iPad is a circle rather than the traditional arrow that you'll see on a Mac. Now let's switch over to the 16-inch portable external display. This can be a great solution if you want more screen real estate when using your iPad, but you still want a mobile setup. This display can easily fit in a backpack or carry-on. Again, once plugged in, we're able to set this display to appear in any direction from the iPad. Notice that we also still have an option to mirror the display. So if you're using your external display to show off what you're doing on the iPad itself, that can still be done. Now let's launch a couple apps over on the portable display. I'm going to start with Maps and then launch Amazon from the dock as well. When I launch Amazon, its window is large enough that the dock disappears. The dock isn't able to automatically show and hide itself as it can on a Mac, so I'll need to reduce the size of the Amazon window to get the dock back. Just click and drag from the bottom edge or corner. I'm also going to launch Photos, Music, and Files, all from the dock. They can now all be quickly viewed and hidden using Stage Manager. I'm going to reduce the size of the music window, then drag Amazon out from Stage Manager to join the music app. I'll do the same with Maps, and we now have these three apps open at once over on this external display. The windows can all be rearranged and resized. We can move maps back out to Stage Manager with a click and drag on it. Next, let's open Photos, and at the top of the window, we still have a multitasking button, which is just three dots. Click, and Photos can now be expanded to full screen. Photos works great in full screen on the larger display. Just click on a photo to expand it and we can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to then move through the library, just like we can do on a Mac. 
Getting the stage manager icons back in this case can be a little tricky because when at the edge of the external display, the cursor wants to move over to the iPad. But as I get to the edge, a little tab is going to appear. Click on this and the stage manager icons will slide in. We can then click to cycle through all these again. When I get back to photos, it will return to full screen when the cursor moves off the stage manager icons on the left. When using a multi-touch trackpad, do a three finger swipe up to minimize the current app and get to the desktop. We could then use the dock to launch an app, or hit command spacebar to bring up spotlight search. I'll launch calendar from here. So that's an overview of how we can now use an external display with an iPad. If you're considering an iPad as a laptop replacement, this could be the feature that makes that happen. Learn more about the equipment used in this video, including the external displays and keyboard cases, within the description below.